Pipo Malagayang Padatin Sa Pilipinas. Thank you. Hello. Uh, thank you for watching with us. Welcome to the Philippines. Uh, my wife and I are uh, uh, Big Yam Kami Ang Karatula. Puta uh, Nayan Kang Sino A Kayo. Mag Punta Sa Bong Munto Up Ang Gawain Ga Dispulo Ang Maga Dispulo. Welcome to the Philippines today. I'm going to speak about uh, give us a sign when you study the life and ministry of Jesus. He teaches us that uh, Satan he likes to question who you are and he wants to question the call of God, the assignment that uh, the Father has uh, given for you. You see, in, the, uh, in Matthew chapter 4, we see that uh, Jesus has just concluded a fast of 40 days and uh, the tempter Satan came to him and said to Jesus if you are or if you be the son of God command that these stones would be made bread Jesus we know that he is uh, the son of God Jesus knew who he was Jesus knows his calling. He knows certainly who he is. And many of you are called to serve him. Some of you uh, as teachers, Sunday school teachers, perhaps some of you as pastors, teachers, and uh, what you uh, believe and have heard from God to that is what God has called for you to do so many will say well if you are who you believe uh, God has called you to be then demonstrate give us a sign uh, show us a sign of your authority uh, a sign of your uh, calling. So uh, many times they'll say, well, if you are who God has called you to be, uh, I, I demand that you, you show us a sign. You give us a sign. Give us a sign. And uh, Jesus many times uh, would not he uh, would not satisfy uh, the curiosity. You'll read in the Word of God as you study that uh, when Jesus, he was called before Herod, and the Word of God gives us the insight that uh, Herod uh, was wanting uh, Jesus to do some magic tricks. He wanted to be entertained but Jesus did not uh, Jesus did not give to Herod what Herod was demanding he wasn't uh, uh, forthcoming many times we read that uh, Jesus uh, refused to uh, pray for those who were laughing at him who challenged his ministry to challenge the anointing 
many times Jesus would uh, refuse and had them put out of the house. Jesus limited who was with him and who accompanied him uh, in his uh, uh, ministry and his journeys for the Lord. Jesus traveled uh, with 12, at least 12, but we see uh, the evidence that Jesus did not allow those 12 apostles to go everywhere. There were times when uh, Jesus only allowed Peter, James, and John. Frequently, you'll see that Jesus... Uh, he, he called someone and he would minister to them, communicate with them privately. They may have started out in a, a big crowd, but Jesus would speak to people on an individual basis. The woman uh, with the issue of blood for more than 12 years, uh, Jesus, uh, he acknowledged that there was something that took place. And uh, the woman said, I knew in my heart that, in fact, there, he, she had faith. She had knowledge that if she could just touch the hem of Jesus' garment, I know I will be made whole. Jesus didn't uh, ask for the uh, he didn't ask for the opinion of those in the crowd. He didn't silence the crowd and say every head bowed, every eye closed, everybody uh, everybody be praying. No, Jesus uh, just turned. He knew. He recognized. And he said to the woman, your faith has made you whole. We see there are times in the scriptures when uh, Jesus says, uh, the word of God tells us that uh, uh, he cannot do many mighty works there because of the unbelief. So Jesus didn't produce to show the world who he was, but Jesus would answer and he uh, he would answer and he would uh, uh, he would give them answers signs but not necessarily an answer a, a sign that they would uh, prefer to see that they would uh, uh, prefer to have and so um, so, if you turn to Matteo, Matteo 24, uh, we're going to start with verse 1. I'm going to start in uh, Tagalog and follow along in English. Please join us. And if you find this to be helpful, I ask you to hit the uh, like button, the approve button. This is kind of controversial, so. I'm going to recommend that you share with no one, only people that you think can handle the teaching and, and would appreciate as we go through the Word of God and examine uh, the truth of God's Word together. So, uh, 24 verse 1. Uh, Luma boss, see Jesus, sa templo. Pe alis nasia nang luma pit ang maga ala god at itenuro sa kanya ang maga kusuli ang templo sanabi senya ka Kanila Nakakita Batnino Ang Magagusaling Iyan 
tan da an nino baratin ang ara na wala riang mete tirang bato sa ibaba ang isepeng abato lahat ay igu iguho and Jesus went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple and Jesus said unto thee uh, to them see ye, uh, ye shall not all these uh, see not all these things verily I say unto you there shall not be left hear one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. So Jesus give them a sign to look for in the future. And so this is uh, disturbing. This is something that uh, they don't like the thought of looking into the future uh, to see this. In verse 3, Hubang si Jesus, I naka upo sa bundok ang mga olibo. Palahim si niyang tina ong ang kayang mga alagad. Kay alan Bo ba mang mang uh, yayari ang maga sanabi nino ano po ang maba magagin uh, pala te an de an ang inyom mulin pag Parito at ang katapusan ang mundo. So, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, uh, Tell us, when shall these things happen? Be, and what shall be the sign of thy uh, coming and the end of the world? Summa gold see Jesus mag ingat kayo upang hindi kayo may a lega Ninuman Maraming Papa Rito Sag Pangalan Ko at Magpa Pangap Sa Nasila Ang Cristo at Maraming Selang Maila Lega. Verses 4 and 5 And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that, uh, take heed that uh, no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive you many brothers and sisters we see this we see this plainly on YouTube those of you who use YouTube or social media you'll see people all over Facebook rumble uh, YouTube uh, what do they call it tic tac tic tock you see them all these uh, uh, social media pages and people say uh, 
I am Christ. I, I am a Christian. And, uh, and so they use, uh, they come with their different personalities and their, uh, their personal chemistry and uh, the way they carry themselves, the way they, they teach. But Jesus uh, tells us not to be, uh, not to be confused, and not to be deceived. And the way that you're not deceived is uh, when they provide for you the text, the scripture from which they're teaching, so that you can follow along. I've, I've uh, shared with you that uh, uh, we are in Matteo. Uh, chapter uh, 24 uh, uh, so you're able to follow along I've given you the uh, verses and so Jesus says not to let anyone deceive you for many shall come in my name claiming that anointing to speak and to teach the Word of God. And they'll say, uh, I've come in the name of the Lord, the authority of the Father, and, uh, and they shall deceive many. In verse 6, Maka ka renig kayo ang maga laba nan at makaka balita ang maga dig my on sa ibat ibang dako nunyet huwag ke ang mababahala the hill Talagang mang yayari ang maga iyon bagamat hindi pe iyon ang katapusan ang mungo. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet. Mag la la mag la la ban Laban ang maga pansa at gay yudin ang maga kaha ryan ryan magkakaruong ang tagutom at lelindo sa maraming lugar. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. So Jesus goes on and he begins to detail Matthew 24 things that you will see that will take place. These are signs that you'll be able to observe as uh, time flashes because uh, the Bible Jesus teaches us plainly that uh, uh, no man uh, knows the day or the hour no one knows the day or the hour uh, that he will come so uh, only the Father in heaven uh, knows only in only the Father in heaven knows when that will be, and so I'm um, uh, following the scriptures, and uh, 
Tagalog and uh, follow him back in English. So let's take a look at uh, uh, 36 and 37 versus 36 and 37. Uh, Nunyet uh, Tungo Saara at Oras Na Ion I Walang Naka Ka Alam Kahit Ang Maga In Hill Sa Langit O Amagin Ang Anak Man Ang Ama uh, Lamang Ang Naka Ke Alam Nito Ang Padatin Ang Anak Ang Dayo I to lad no on uh, pana hon ni no her noah thirty six to uh, thirty seven English following that theory here but of that day an hour knoweth no man no not the angels of heaven but my father only but as the days of noah were so shall also the coming of the son of man be verse 38 and 39 38 and 39 he tells us uh, Nang maga ara na ion abago bumaha ang maga te o e nagsesike an nag inu inuman at nagsesipag Nasipag asawa ang ang sa ara na pumasok si no or Noah sa barko Hindi Hindi nila Namalayan ang nang yayari ang ang sa dumatin ang baha at tinga ti ang ga salang lahat gayundin ang mang yayari sa padatin Ang anak, ang dio. Thirty-six to thirty-nine. But of that day and hour, knoweth no man, no not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also. The coming of the Son of Man be, for as the, for as in the days that were before the flood, uh, they were eating, and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and they knew not until the flood came, and took them all away. So shall also. The sun, coming of the Son of Man, uh, be forty through uh, uh, forty-two, forty uh, through forty-two. Sa pe ong, so uh, panai ong, iyon may uh, may uh, 
Dalawang, la la locking, la 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 locking, uh, nagtra trabajo, uh, sabukid, uh, ang isa et iwan ang ikakala ikalawa may uh, dalawang papain nag tra tra baho sa uh, giligan giligan kakakunan Ang i sa at i awan ang akalawa. Uh, Kayat magin ando kayo the hill hindi nino ilam kang ka ke alan. The writing on inyong peng pengin no on. Unawang nino ito kung ilam ang may may ari ang bahay kung nong oras. Se gabi derate uh, ang uh, magna nanak magna naka siya maghanda at uh, hindi ninyo uh, pababayang bayang pababay ang uh, pasukan ang kanyang bahay kaya lagi kayo magin anda sa pagat darating ang anak ang tayo sa oras na hindi Nino in a asahan. Then two shall be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Many uh, see, many scholars see this as evidence of the. Uh, rapture of the church uh, two in the field the one shall be taken and the other left uh, two women shall be grinding at the mill the one shall be taken and the other left uh, watch therefore for ye know not when for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. We need to be prepared at all time. We see the world around us and uh, it uh, looking more and more uh, gloomy. Uh, people are looking. They're looking for the return of the Son of Man. Just like the first time round, they were looking for the uh, coming of the Messiah. They thought they knew exactly what they were looking for, but he didn't uh, come in a, a manner that was expected. They say we know in part and we prophesy in part, and and so uh, they didn't recognize, they didn't identify. There were some things that. Uh, they they didn't anticipate of course we know in part and we prophesy in part and this was the same uh, with them and we're going to close here 
in just a minute or two because we're pushing uh, 30 minutes and we do want to keep this uh, I'm going to keep this as uh, uh, brief as, as going down to uh, so um, watch therefore for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come we have to be ready we need to be uh, prepared. We need to be uh, looking for the coming of the Son of God. I pull up. I ask you to turn real quickly to Hebrews. I'll type this in so I give you enough time so that you can do this too. Hebrews. 9 and let's go to verse 27 we need to watch for his appearing we need to look because um, we need to look for his somebody calling for me and I obviously can't take this call right this instant because uh, I have to call them back in just a little bit. I have to call them back in just a little bit. But it says 927. I'm just going to read it in English. And as it is appointed unto men wants to die but after this the judgment we have an appointment it's coming but uh, for some he will have mercy it is appointed unto men wants to die or humans to die and after this the judgment if you've only been uh, born once, if you haven't been born again, you have an appointment. You have an appointment uh, with the uh, judge. But if you've only been born once, you're going to die twice. And uh, after this, the judgment. But brothers and sisters, the good news is that you can be born again. Jesus tells us that you must be born again. So it says in uh, verse 28, So Christ was uh, once offered to bear the sins of many, but unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. As the Holy Spirit pulling on your heart today I'm going to invite you to pray with me pray with me and uh, the, the Lord he knows the thoughts and the intentions of your heart let's pray dear Heavenly Father you've uh, told us in your word that we are to look for your appearing and that uh, that for those that look for him, that uh, your son will appear the second time without sin uh, unto salvation. Father, there are so many who want to serve you, who have that desire to serve you. And Lord, uh, I ask even now that the Holy Spirit uh, will grab their heart and put into them an overwhelming uh, desire to commit themselves to your word. To take over their heart. And so that, uh, so that your grace becomes inside of them irresistible. There are some who have right now that irresistible pull. Give in to that. Give in to that and follow. 
follow the best you can. Just follow. Our God is looking for those who uh, look for Him. Those who, those who have been born again. You have a change of your heart. Lord, change their heart, O oh God. And renew that uh, right spirit within them, Lord, that their name not be blotted out of the book of life. Father, we thank you that they pursue you. Pursue the Father. And it's only through the Son, Jesus, that it can be attained. We thank you, Father, that you hear us when we pray. You hear those who call unto you in sincerity with that desire to serve you through Jesus, your Son, to receive the irresistible grace. Lord, we thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Uh, they've decided that we're going under enhanced community quarantine, a, a stricter level of enforcement. Pretty soon we're going to be up on, uh, pretty soon we're uh, going to be uh, 20 uh, months under nation, nationwide uh, quarantine. Ask the Lord if you would, uh, if he would have you to help us to get this word out to people all across the Philippines. We can use your assistance. We can use your help. Uh, with these uh, quarantines uh, that's nationwide, but we found that right now the most effective way to keep contact with so many who have given their heart to the Lord to continue teaching is uh, through uh, social media. Uh, we can use your assistance. Uh, we, uh, we, we deal with the situations as they come to us, uh, but you, you are the hand of God in so many ways. Feed so many, help so many, and uh, there are going to be people hurting as this uh, quarantine is extended perhaps uh, another month. A strict quarantine, a nationwide quarantine. Pray about how you can help us and be of assistance to us. You can you communicate with us and you'll see how you can uh, partner with us. We appreciate those who, who have been able to help as we uh, going into uh, August. We're closing in very quickly on uh, 20 months, very quickly. I pray and ask the Lord what he would have you to do. We appreciate you guys. Uh, uh, for those of you here in the Philippines, uh, uh, Maganda, uh, uh, Magandang uh, Gabe, and for those in other places in the world, you have a great day. Dios Libendega, and come back and see us very soon.